If you want to do a screen recording, don't miss these two programs that I'm going to introduce you right now. Welcome to Crypto Studio and today I want to show you two nice and great programs for recording your screen while you have a class, while you have a workshop, while you have an online session or if you want to teach something and send it to others, you can use these two softwares easily and then I want to show you how you start uh, downloading them, how you uh, install and use uh, different kinds of features of these two applications. So, uh, first of all, you can download the free versions of these applications from my own official site, which is uh, CryptoStudium.com Actually, the link is into the description below. You can even find this address into my a YouTube channel into the banner actually you can see there is a link for this website uh, cryptostudium.com is the website URL when you enter that maybe we'll wait a bit yes this is actually the way that comes up and in here you can see free software and downloads now you can freely download most of the softwares freely so this is very important. I have repeated this freely two times to make it really prominent, to make it important that you don't need to pay any money for any of these softwares. Just uh, you need to follow the instructions. Uh, there is a text file, there is a guide file in, uh, into the uh, download section and then you can go there then you can see how to download and follow the instructions one by one so the application can be activated uh, nicely. So for example, in here we have something like uh, Camtasia, Studio 2022. This is the first uh, application actually. This is the first software I'm going to introduce to you. This is Camtasia Studio 2022 and this is ZD Soft Screen Recorder which is the second application I want to introduce. But first I'm going to go to Camtasia Studio 2022. I press download. In download section right now the site is under uh, construction there is no visual effect there is no picture no special uh, motion into the pages but actually the basic uh, actions are available into the pages for example like downloading read the text file below to make sure you activate the software correctly this is the file actually when I click on it it will be downloaded and when I open it one by one it is telling you how to download uh, your software how to install it actually downloading is easy this guide is for just uh, installing that activating that so you can see one to nine procedures and easily you can uh, activate your program after downloading and following all these steps that I have put into this text file as a guide there will be something like uh, a kind of icon like this on your desktop which is called Camtasia 2022 and when you want to start recording something there will be a kind of page like this but that page is somehow like this uh, when you start recording it changes to this shape and then you can see that this is the recording time my camera is available in here so in the uh, previous shape that I showed you you can change your camera if you have different kinds of cameras connected to your um, computer uh, you can change your resolution your uh, video size your frame size everything if you want to uh, record a very special part of your screen there are uh, actually a big uh, places and a big spots around your monitor around your screen so you can choose them and drag them wherever you want or um, you can even specify that by adding numbers I mean the uh, screen uh, size numbers for me it is the normal one it is um, 1920 in 1080 and so you can pause it you can stop it and you can restart it or you can minimize it I'm gonna minimize it right now and um, I'm, I'm gonna record uh, different kinds of aspects of my windows by uh, my own video by my own camera and my microphone and uh, the desktop all together so what happens afterward it is called Camtasia studio which means that after uh, recording all your uh, sections or whatever you wanted there will be a kind of uh, shape that I will uh, put the picture in here that you can see in this part there will be something like kind of studio so you can do basic changes on your uh, video you can see the audio part is separated the video part is separated you can uh, f export it in different formats uh, you can uh, do some basic changes something like 
Premiere Pro, but not that much uh, developed. So then you can export it and take it to other advanced softwares like Premiere Pro or other video editing softwares too. This is uh, working with Camtasia. This is so easy. Then I will show you how to export your video in Camtasia actually. This is easy. And I will go right to it after that with another program because right now I'm recording my session uh, with Camtasia Studio. I have to stop it and I go to another program and I start recording the screen with that. And then I will show you how to export it from uh, Camtasia, how to export the video and take it to other softwares. So uh, this is for Camtasia Studio. If there is any problem in installing, in downloading, whatever, so you can come to the website again, you can go to the previous page, you can go to home page, and as you can see, uh, you can uh, start chatting with me or you can uh, get in touch and send whatever you want and submit it, and I will come back to you and help you if there is something wrong with your software or with your activation. But everything is clearly written in that file. If you found something um, unusual, if you found something hard, if something wrong happened, actually, you can just contact me and then I will solve that to you and I will answer all the emails I will answer all the uh, requests and questions that come to me it takes just one hour because I'm most of the times online I'm working on my website I'm working on different kinds of online things so I can see that someone has sent me a message so let's go to the next part and I will show you how to export your video from Camtasia so, okay, so here I'm recording uh, my screen via ZD Soft Screen Recorder, not with Camtasia. As you can look at here, it is recording for me. When I stop recording um, my section in Camtasia, something like that pops up. It's actually the Camtasia Studio that you can see uh, the track one and track two. They, they are uh, the lawyers. The first one is my video part, which is here, and the second one is my screen. And my IOD is also inside the first part even you can make your Camtasia studio record the desktop sounds too so if you do that your desktop will have sounds and whatever you play you don't need any speaker uh, you don't need anything uh, like audio playing because uh, this Camtasia studio itself record the, uh, the desktop sounds for you as well as your camera sounds so uh, you can do basic changes whatever you want make your video bigger smaller in here everything and for uh, exporting that you can easily come to the export part which is here you press on it and then you press the first one which is mp4 and you just name it find the folder and export it easily it takes a while and after that it is exported so you can even come to the advanced settings you can see that the current project project dimension is 1920 in 1080 and I'm, I'm gonna keep aspect ratio I'm not gonna change anything so everything is fine and mp4 is what I want and it is also recommended by the Camtasia studios then I press export and everything is exported for me and the video is ready to be uh, done in different kinds of other editing softwares So now let's uh, get right into the ZD Soft Screen Recorder, which is this one. And when I click on that, there will be something like this ZD Soft Screen Recorder. While you have another recorder up, while you are recording with any other software, for example, like Camtasia, as you know, I'm recording this screen and I'm recording my video based on Camtasia Studio 2022. So there will be an error like this that the soft screen recorder failed to register the hotkey F9 because I'm using F9 in both of my softwares, which is Camtasia Studio and uh, ZD Soft Screen Recorder. So easily press all of them no, and then ZD Soft Screen Recorder pops up a kind of page like this. For recording your session, it's better to uh, choose this one record webinar or meeting. And by pressing that, you know, the mouse cursor is changed to a kind of a plus shape with a green circle around it, which means that I need to specify the place that I want. For example, I want to get the whole screen. I want to record the whole screen. Or maybe I want uh, just this amount or this amount or just this part. It depends on you. See, a green rectangular comes into the screen and it shows you that only this part will be recorded I'm not gonna do that when this program shape actually comes up there will be a kind of bar like this that has been written a number which is the video frame size or video size so you can click here again and then that 
uh, shape comes back, which is exactly like uh, a plus and a green circle around. So I come to the right corner, top side, and then I drag it to the left corner, down side, and then I leave it until the time that I see 1920, 1080. This is the frame size, and this is exactly what I want for my video. So in here, when you see this part is on, it is telling you that the speaker is on or off, which means that your screen uh, sound or your just desktop sound or audio would be recorded. And if you turn it off, so no sound will be uh, recorded from the desktop. Sometimes when you are just um, going into a class, when you are going into an online session and you want to record the speaker's speeches somehow, then you need to turn this one on in order to record all the screen audios and sounds. The next one is the microphone. If you don't want to have your own sound, and if you want just to have the speaker's sound or the one who is speaking on the screen, easily turn this off, then there will be no sound of yourself actually recorded and there will be only the sound of desktop or the person who is talking um, online in a class or anywhere like that. So if I want to speak, if I want to record my own session, like now I'm talking, I want to have my screen sound, I want to have my own sound, I want to put all these two uh, sessions on and then for camera this is easy, again you press this, then your camera will be on. Um, it doesn't matter, for example, you're using a normal camera, your phone, whatever, you can easily connect that to your uh, ZDSoft screen recorder. And for m mouse, this is actually a problem that many people have. And uh, sometimes they say, I don't see the mouse cursor sometimes, uh, and I don't know where the mouse goes while someone's speaking or while I want to speak something or when I want to show something to someone. So what should I do? First of all, Click on this, don't leave it alone, because if you want to uh, teach something to someone, or if you want to show something to someone, if you leave it off, there won't be any mouse cursor on the screen, and it records everything without the mouse cursor indication. So it's better to press on it, and if you want to make it highlighted in the way that everybody sees that and make it visible for anyone who is looking at your video, easily come to the settings. In here there is something like mouse cursor effects and highlight mouse cursor when you click on it when I go back there you see that it is checked so even you can write something on the screen like this if you want to write anything it is possible or you can easily delete them like this get back and you can uh, highlight anything with a pen or a pencil then you can start recording or even you can take a screenshot take a picture and they all go to a folder which is here you, when you click on that the folder comes up which is this and then you see all the things that I have taken and all the things that I have recorded go uh, directly to this place so in setting part if you want to adjust your microphone if you want to adjust your uh, uh, screen your uh, uh, for example camera something like that you can come to the general settings in general settings you can see the highlight circle of the mouse is green you can change this highlighted uh, mouse cursor in the previous video actually while I wanted to show you how to export video from Camtasia some minutes ago you saw that my mouse has a green circle as an indicator actually so you can change that green circle color that was as an indicator and um, put another color whatever you like in here or even you can change your video format you can save it as different kinds of formats but don't change anything it will be okay to have your mp4 format online 1920 1080 is exactly the region that i want to record uh, and this is a frame that i want and in here you can see the sound could be uh, chosen for example in the first part you choose uh, what is your speaker the speaker is your headphone the speaker is your speaker anything like that you can easily choose it and in the second part you should choose your microphone so I have lots of microphones in my office and different kinds of microphones could be chosen so you can choose your own microphone as you can see when you speak this is moving and it shows it shows you that your microphone is chosen correctly uh, for your webcam, you can come to this part, you can open it, and you can choose any webcam that you want. I have one OBS Virtual Studio, which is here, and I have uh, IV Cam, which is my right now camera, actually, and I'm using uh, my video based on this IV Cam via USB debugging 
connection that I have put a video in my channel about how to connect your mobile phone without internet connection to your uh, computer and use it as a webcam but a USB wired webcam actually so easily choose it and uh, that's it when you press ok all the settings are ready and you can start recording your video by pressing this uh, red circle big red circle and then you can stop it afterward with uh, a kind of big red square that comes afterward so that's it i hope you found all these things useful don't forget to subscribe me and thanks for joining crypto studio have a good day